There are very few museums dedicated to just one artist in Belgium. I can think of the Magritte Museum in Brussels. Uh, this is uh, the other one, uh, the Felician Rops Museum or in Namur, and this is the Museum Garden. Uh, Rops is possibly, in my opinion, uh, Belgium's greatest artist. In any case, he's my favourite. This is um, the funeral in Wallonia, L'Enterrement au Pays Wallon, uh, was uh, immediately hated by the church when it came out. Uh, they thought it was an anti-clerical painting because uh, the priest and his entourage evidently have no interest and no sympathy for the boy who's just lost a close relative. In fact, the boy is a very solitary figure. Even his guardian or stepfather is standing a fair distance back from, from the grave. Uh, there's a, a mourner here playing with a dog and, and villagers uh, gossiping in the corner. Um, the, one of the great things, however, about this uh, museum here in Namur is that you can read more than 3,000 of Rops's letters uh, that are now online. And in one of those letters, he talks about this work and actually denies that it was an anti-religious painting. He said he just came across this scene and painted it and that he would have painted uh, the same scene if it had been the mayor who was being buried. So here we have one of Rox's many works on prostitutes. Uh, you know she is a prostitute not merely because she has flowers in her breast but also because she's standing next to a price list um, in the close-up after I finish speaking maybe you can see the glazed over eyes he was very good at painting glazed over eyes lots of these women and their clients were drunk on absinthe um, he uh, described he wanted to emphasize the femme fatale nature of prostitutes sometimes they're actually depicted as uh, walking skeletons because uh, they were um, uh, suffering from syphilis and so it was really a femme fatale in the literal sense you went with one of this, these women and you're actually risking your life uh, a lot of the time he, he didn't shy away from the darker side of life. In fact, he said, uh, while we uh, don't flee the sun, neither do we flee uh, a, a dark rainy sky and a sad expression. He wanted to uh, paint more than just people. He would try to encapture uh, their souls. This one is called the absinthe drinker. Take a look. You can see from those eyes that she's had a fair few. This is um, a fairly mild uh, version of uh, the, the porn that uh, the Rops was so into. Here we see a man in a devil costume watching a, a woman undress. This is almost humorous. I, I have a, a poster of this one up on, my, up on the wall in my office. It's, um, he, he was very uh, protective of his uh, more erotic work. There was one nice anecdote. Uh, he discovered that uh, an English lord had died, a client of his, and his inheritors had got together and after finding numerous erotic works had been so shocked that they actually burned them all. Now, when, when he actually discovered this, let me put my glasses on so I can read the quote, he called uh, the, the English uh, rigid, hypocritical Protestants and drunkards and pederasts um, under the mask of reformed religion. So, um, as you can see, he was, he was quite angry that they didn't see the artistic value in what he actually did. So, this is perhaps Rops's most famous painting, Pornocrates, it's called. We know from his letters that he was very happy with it, but we don't know, frustratingly, exactly what he was trying to do. Obviously, it's about sex, at least in part, isn't it? We have a, a pig and a naked woman who's blindfolded. Now, who's leading who? Maybe this is um, a comment on uh, men who are led blindly uh, by women. There are other references in his letters to uh, friends who were uh, dominated by their uh, mistresses or wives, but we don't know exactly um, what this one means.